Hey, how's it going? Li Flies Mike here. We're actually going to be doing something special tonight. I'm streaming at the moment, and we're going to be taking a uh, section of the stream, and we're going to be tying the Sardina Deceiver, a variation of the Deceiver special that we tied for saltwaterflies.com, uh, the last fly that we tied in our uh, last fly time video. So uh, we'll get right into it. This video is going to be a little bit different, a little bit more faster paced edit it down some more um, it's very similar to the last fly so if you have any particulars about how to tie the feathers on and whatnot you can go back and check our last deceiver special video if you haven't checked us out on twitch.com i mean twitch.tv slash blocked wizard and um, make sure to uh sub if you like uh to see more fly tying and fly fishing content but we'll get right into it we're going to be using the gamagatsu sl 12s four odd hook we're going to be using some more whiting american rooster hackle but we'll be using the the larger hackle got some polar flash instead of crystal flash for the tail white bucktail olive and yellow as well as a second color of olive crystal flash gray ghost we're using the 210 denier flat wax nylon on my right magnum bobbin and we have some solar res and bill's body braid of course for the body we're using 730 seconds yellow gold eyes from saltwaterflies.com again all of this can be found at saltwaterflies.com let's get started we're going to tie our thread on. These flies are six inches long. Six inches right at the end of our base here on the vise. <clears throat> Start off with some white bucktail for the tail. Don't tie the bucktail all the way up. Leave some space in between the head. Next, we'll take four large hackle from the back of the whiting American rooster tail. Nice webby hackle here. We'll line that up to six inches and tie two on each side. Curve to curve that the feathers are supported for supporting each other. Okay, so we have our hackle tied in. We'll tie that back to the hook point right about here. You can see the hackle's nice and straight. Nice webby profile from the side. Now, instead of using crystal flash in the deceiver special we normally use, this fly is gonna be a little different. We're gonna take about five to 10 uh, strands of the polar flash here. You can again find all this at saltwaterflies.com. We're gonna loop that over and make sure it's spread on either side. We are gonna cut it a little bit short so that way the material is less prone to fouling. Now we're gonna take our Bill's body braid. And we're gonna tie that in like so. Always take a little bit of super glue without getting it all over the place. Apply that, and then we're gonna wrap our body braid. I think I need to clean up that super glue. It's getting a little clogged. Doing the front, doing the back, wrap that off, tie on top of it. Then uh, usual, so I'll show you. We're gonna start off with some white bucktail on the bottom. We're gonna trim that nice and flush so we can tie it in. So. Make sure that's spread evenly on the bottom. Oh, with some yellow bucktail. Not too much, but just enough to give it some color. Again, not too much yellow bucktail, just to add a little bit of color on the, on the cheeks of the fly. So now this is where this gets a little bit different. We're gonna be taking some gray ghost crystal flash here, and we're gonna be tying a wing of crystal flash on top of the yellow uh, bucktail, and then we'll continue along with our uh, normal deceiver. So we're going to get about, I don't know, maybe three pieces here and fold them in half because we don't need them to be this long. So now we got about six pieces here. We're just going to take that, fold it over the hook eye, and tie it right on top of the bucktail like so. Cut that right at the end of the bucktail. And that's just going to add a little bit more color to the fly than usual. So now we're going to take our olive bucktail, cut a section off like so. Again, we're going to stack the hair if it's too long. Tie our olive bucktail in. Make sure that's kind of spread around. You want a little bit of yellow peeking out on the sides, on either side. Tie a little bit more on top. And now we do not uh, tie peacock curl on top. What we actually do is we tie some olive bucktail. So we're gonna take some hair from the back of the bucktail. You can see we have this dark olive uh, hair on the back. We're actually just gonna take a little bit of that and we're just gonna create a light topping with that, kind of like um, peacock curl. You don't want it to be as long, you want it to be a little shorter. This is just creating a little color here. So 
just like that. Make sure that's spread evenly on the top. You can always add a little bit more bucktail, top or bottom if you need to, if the proportions aren't right. But that looks pretty good, I'm happy with that. And a whip finish. Now we'll take our eyes and we'll glue these on. Now I always take the eyes and I glue them halfway between the, the thread and the bucktail. And I always apply a little super glue to make sure the eyes are nice and uh, stuck on there. So when we, tie, uh, when we apply the resin head, the resin doesn't cause the eyes to lift off, which it sometimes can do. We'll apply that like so again, right in between the thread and the bucktail. Eyes are nice and even on there. And just like that, that's perfect. So now we're gonna glue the head. So we have our bodkin ready. We'll take our UV resin here. Now we're gonna take our resin and we're just gonna apply it. And we wanna go back behind the back of the eye here. We wanna make sure we get some on the bucktail. We don't want too much resin, but we wanna build a nice head on here. That's a decent amount. Better visual here. Now we're gonna take our bodkin and we're just gonna evenly spread this, making sure that we go back behind the eye. Kinda like so. We know this resin is nice and coated, filling up any gaps between the eye, the bucktail, covering all the thread. We want the supply to be as durable as possible. Now we're gonna hit it with the light. I like to hit it for a couple seconds on top and bottom and each side. And then I like to really expose it for about eight or nine seconds on uh, each side, just uh, left and right. So hit it on the other side now. And just like that, we have a Sardina Deceiver Special. Again, all the materials that we were used for this fly, I'll put a list down below with the link to saltwaterflies.com. This is part of a series of videos that we're doing demonstrating the flies that we tie commercially for saltwaterflies.com. Uh, this fly is um, great for striped bass, all the way over to roof, rooster fish and stuff like that. AK bow honor. Ayo. But this fly is great, whether you're going for striped bass here in the East Coast, rooster fish down in Baja, it's a very versatile fly. Again, you can check these out if you're interested in purchasing these. We tie these for saltwaterflies.com commercially. If you wanna tie these flies yourself, you can find all the materials at saltwaterflies.com. Hopefully you enjoy this a uh, little bit quicker fly tying video. Let me know whether you like the lawner, uh, more detailed stuff, or um, you know, you like the stuff that gets straight down to the point. But uh, until next time, tight lines as always, and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the fly tying content.